We've also been asking top football writer and broadcaster Vishali Bardwaj about the significance of a match pitting two giants of the English game against one another. It will be about making an early statement of intent because these two clubs are basically going for the same titles this season. You know, they're both going to be vying for the Premier League as they did last season. And of course, Liverpool having won the Champions League, the competition that City desperately want to win. This community shield, you know, it's not a competitive title as such, but it will be something that can sort of send out a strong signal. City win it. You know, look, we're still here to say we did the domestic treble uh, last season and, you know, we're going to uh, maintain our standards this season. But if Liverpool can win it, it will be a strong message to City that, you know, we're still here and we're ready to compete again. It's going to be tough for Liverpool, particularly because they haven't recruited um, in terms of world-class players who can come into a team right now this summer. Um, but I think for Liverpool, the, the key will be using the experience from last season where... You know, they had these tough periods where City had lost and they had this pressure on them and then they drew games. You know, they had, they had games against the likes of West Ham away where West Ham sat back and they found it really difficult knowing that the title was on the line. What will also be crucial is getting wins over City the two times that they played them in the Premier League. Because we saw last season, when they lost that second game, it felt like it was a huge pendulum swinging in the favour of City. City have had a really um, good pre-season and they've also had a really settled pre-season. They've had most of their players there. They've only sort of added Rodri, really, and Angelino um, to their squad. Hasn't been much change. It's been a good pre-season for them. So they're coming to the Community Shield in a really good state uh, of mind. But Liverpool have actually had a really poor pre-season. Now, a lot of that is down to the fact that they've been missing so many of their first-team players. And the fact that they've only just welcomed back Alisson, Firmino, you know, Salah, and they're yet to welcome back Mane, it means that you might not expect to see such a... Uh, fluid front line and attacking lineup against City in the Community Shield. He's been brought in really um, as a successor to Fernandinho. Now, Fernandinho is still at the club, so I expect Fernandinho to still play a key role for City this season. And it means that Rodri has a little bit of a bedding in time um, you know, to settle into the club, settle into Pep Guardiola's style of play. I think you can expect him quite a lot this season, but maybe not as perhaps as much as you might see next season, potentially, when Fernandinho leaves. I worry a little bit about the options at right back. They've got Kyle Walker, who has signed a new deal, but in terms of having options should he get seriously injured, you know, it's, it's not great, but they've got an extremely strong squad. But in terms of improving this season, um, it's going to be improving the Champions League. They reached the quarterfinals last year, got knocked out by Spurs team, who has, you know, they have a great manager in Pochettino, but they hadn't make, made a signing into transfer windows. So it's going to be about getting to the latter, latter stages of Champions League um, and then can, still, still competing on, on the domestic front.